ClickUp is a great productivity app, but ClickUp can be very overwhelming to the beginner. Most of the content that I've seen about ClickUp, it expects you to run with the application before you can walk. There's very little that I've come across that takes you through the basics step by step by step. So if when you go into ClickUp, you find it overwhelming, this is the place to be. We're gonna start with the very basics of the application and we're gonna work our way up from there today we're gonna think through just a brief overview of some of the core features of the app. We're focusing on personal productivity and we're not looking at all of the different features that are available for team use. Welcome to this new YouTube series, Using ClickUp Effectively. Short videos, just five to 10 minutes each. Each video taking a specific function or feature or aspect of using ClickUp for personal productivity over time to build up knowledge to how to use this app to maximum effectiveness. When you first open ClickUp, this is what you're gonna see. This is your home view. But the basic and core organization within ClickUp is here in your sidebar where you have spaces. You can have different spaces for different things. You can give them a little emoji if you want or avatar icon for them. You can have lists within your spaces, but you can also have folders. Let's just call that test. You can also have folders within your spaces and you can put lists inside folders. So that's the basic organizational structure, spaces, folders, lists. Within a list, let's just open this one um, and let's get rid of the sidebar to see it in big. You have your basic list view. You can also have a board view. Uh, you can change these statuses and then obviously you can just move cards between different boards. And there are also other views that you can have, calendar views, Gantt views, table views, and then other things down here um, that we'll get to as we go through the series. Back in your home view, this has a whole host of features and we'll do a full episode on this, but these are some of the things uh, you can see. If you've got your calendar sync to click up, which I don't have at the moment, you can see calendar events in there as well as tasks for the day. Uh, your lineup is somewhere where if you want to move specific tasks into your lineup, these would be the things that you're planning to work on today. You have your work for the day uh, organized there. Reminders, again, I'll explain that in a later video. You can also add different cards to this as well and organize them however you want to. Very customizable is, is ClickUp. Another key feature of ClickUp that I use all the time is ClickUp Docs. So in your sidebar over here, I can expand that if, if I wanted to bring it out here you have your docs this would be where all your docs would be if you had them I don't have any yet so I'm going to create a new one and all that is going to do is create a document let's just call it doc for now we'll start with a blank page and this in many ways is a little bit like a page within other apps you can make it full screen let's get rid of this sidebar you've got slash commands to create new sub pages, new pages, put in lists, toggle lists, banners. I quite like banners. Uh, you can select an icon for your banner. Um, you can even change the color of that. There's loads of features within the docs and these are really useful for typing notes for projects, planning out projects, goals, things like that. Let's just close that for now. One feature about ClickUp that I really love is the notepad. Now, the notepad, it's up here, but you can get it, um, there it is, by just pressing the letter P. And that brings up this little notepad. You can create new notes. So you can put anything you want in here. Uh, you can create little tasks um, for checklists. And then once you're done with that, you can either turn it into a task or you can turn it into a doc. You can make it bigger if you want to, all of that kind of thing. The notepad is really a useful place to put down quick thoughts, quick ideas, quick checklists alongside the work that you're doing in your actual lists and docs and all of that kind of thing. I love the notepad, it's really useful. Dashboards are another feature of ClickUp which are excellent for bringing all kinds of things together. 
here's an example of an actual dashboard that I use, although I've just made a duplicate copy of it. Within a dashboard, you have a whole host of different cards that you can throw in. You can have text cards like this where you can put in banners or any other text you want. You can have lists. So here is a list taken from my projects list of the projects that I've got on today. Here is a list taken from my content creation list of all of the content that I'm working on today. I've got another text box down here with a sort of a rough agenda for the morning, the afternoon and the evening. And then down at the bottom here, I have filtered task lists of any objectives for the day which I've completed, morning tasks which I've completed, afternoon tasks which I haven't yet done, and then one for the evening. Um, this is my focus list, which is just all of the objectives morning and afternoon and evening. And then this here would be a list of all tasks for the day grouped by their priority. With dashboards, you can bring a whole host of information together on different cards to show you what you need to see all in one place. It's a very powerful way of organizing ClickUp. And then the last thing I want to mention is that ClickUp actually has a time tracker. So you'll notice here these little boxes next to the tasks. If I wanted to say, for example, well, I'm recording this video right now. So let's open up this particular task using ClickUp effectively, overview, and I'm going to start tracking time on that now. And so that is now being tracked. You can see up here in the top corner that the time is tracking. I've actually got a dashboard, which I'm not going to show you now, but which summarizes all of the tracked time on all the different tasks, in all of the different areas, in all of the different spaces at multiple levels. So that's really useful having a time tracker built into your task and project manager. It helps you understand how you're using your time at multiple levels of detail without having to use a separate time tracker. So there you have it. That's a very brief overview of some of the core features of ClickUp that I use. As the series develops, we'll look at each of those in much more detail. ClickUp is an incredibly powerful app. It's an app that has a lot of features, but it can be used very effectively if you harness those features and put boundaries and limits so you're not just using features for the sake of it. If you've liked this video, please do hit that like button. That would be really helpful for me. Please do subscribe to the channel. There's going to be more videos on ClickUp to come as well as more videos on UpNote. And please do let me know in the comments if there's any specific parts of ClickUp that you'd like me to cover. I would love to hear from you and I'll see you on the next video.